Hi, I'm Allison Davis Wood. Welcome to Prairie Fire. In our first story tonight, we'll catch up with a local boy as he comes home. Timothy P. Irvin is the lead singer for the famous 50s and 60s cover band, Flash Cadillac. Over the years, the boys of Flash have appeared making music in movies like American Graffiti, Apocalypse Now, and episodes of Happy Days. Now they are touring the country, performing their signature sound with local orchestras. To them, every performance fulfills their fantasy of being the world's largest rock and roll band. My name is Timothy Patrick Irvin, and I am the lead vocalist and chief show-off in Flash Cadillac. Timothy P. Irvin is a musician who has pretty much done it all. He has performed for presidents, on TV, in movies, and in front of crowds as big as 650,000 people. But to Irvin, a native of Bloomington, Illinois, this concert to benefit the Champaign County Historical Museum was something special. He was singing at the historic Virginia Theater, backed by the CU Symphony. And it was Irvin's first time back in central Illinois since joining the legendary rock and roll group Flash Cadillac. Irvin's musical career began when he was a teenager in central Illinois. In 1963, he formed his first band, and a few years later, the group appeared on WICS in Springfield's Pepsi Dance Party. We had this band called the Shattertones, which then grew into a very popular teen band that played teen dances and functions all over central Illinois. We played On the Hop in Champaign. We used to play the Bunny Hutch in Savoy, Illinois. We'd play in Tuscola and Arcola and, you know, like Clinton and Maroa and Gibson City and Farmer City and Sioux City. What a pity. In 1967, Tim left the Shattertones to serve in the Army. And when I left, about the wildest thing going was Sam and Dave and Otis Redding and came back to psychedelic music and the Jefferson Airplane, you know, wah-wah pedals and fuzz tones and, and LSD and smoke bombs and strobe lights and went, hmm, I think I better give up the guitar. <laughs> I feel tears welling up calling deep inside But Irvin didn't give up on music. He formed a new band with Jerry Pork Armstrong called the Mackinac Valley Boys. Pork later became known for his band, Pork and the Havana Ducks. In the early 70s, Irvin relocated to Colorado with his latest band, Timothy P. and Rural Route 3. Rural Route 3 built a big following across the country. On tour, they returned to Illinois several times, even appearing on WILL TV. Here they are on WILL's Music Makers program in 1975. Just good time music, you know. I certainly don't limit myself to liking one kind of music. I don't think most people did, and that was always our theory, so we, we never could be pigeonholed into one slot. The race is on and it looks like heartaches. Nineteen seventy five was also the year Flash Cadillac made this appearance on American Bandstand. 
Flash Cadillac started back in 1969, playing 50s and 60s hits on the Boulder campus of the University of Colorado. Their big break came when they were asked to be in the 1973 movie, American Graffiti, which then led to an appearance in Apocalypse Now. In this episode of Happy Days, they played the part of Johnny Fish and the Finns. In September of 2001, Flash Cadillac was still going strong and Irvin was still singing for Rural Route 3. Then he received a shocking phone call. A friend told him that Sam McFadden, the lead singer for Flash Cadillac, had passed away. I was like, whoa, you know, Flash, I don't know what's gonna happen here. Sam died and Sam was the, he was the head guy. He was Flash, you know, and they're kinda in a tailspin. I don't know if they're gonna keep going but they, they might want to keep going, so come on down and, and meet these guys and audition. I think you'd be a great fit with these guys. Well, I went down and, and auditioned with them. It was the first time I'd ever auditioned for a band in my life. Irvin had to make a few sacrifices to join the band. He cut his long hair and even agreed to buy some new clothes. Well, when he first started uh, playing in Flash, he didn't own a pair of pants, so, so when he bought his first wardrobe to wear for a stage performance. That was his first pair of pants. He didn't own a pair, a pair of pants. His whole wardrobe was overalls. You know you make me want to shout. Irvin flew to Florida to join Flash on stage for the first time at a concert with the Pensacola Symphony. Since that day, Irvin has been a member of the Flash Cadillac family. Despite the loss of band members and the shifting trends of popular music, the band has lasted for over 30 years. We always had a real belief in what we're doing, which is we love this music. We love the old style rock and music and, and preserving it. And so yeah, there has been sadness and tragedy, and but we, I think we've overcome it. And now I think the people that we have now have just as strong a love for that kind of music. And that's really what keeps us going, what keeps me going, because I really like that music. The music of Flash Cadillac even inspired Steve Larson, the conductor of the Champaign-Urbana Symphony, to take on a new look. This is just, yeah, it's, it's so much fun. You just don't get a chance to do this stuff every day. The heart and soul of rock and roll back in the 50s and 60s was the, um, you know, the four or five piece band. And um, add the instruments on top of that and it makes a whole difference. Now, I, I, was, I was a trumpet player back then and the in the 60s, so um, I was kind of excluded from rock and roll bands because most of them didn't have trumpet. Singing with the symphony is without a doubt as good as it gets. It's just a wonderful, wonderful experience. And I, I tell people, you know, sing a doo-wop ballads with 25 violins behind it. There's nothing quite like that. Cadillac plans to keep playing their brand of rock and roll for years to come. Irvin feels honored to have this opportunity to extend his 40-year career in the music industry. He says the secret to his stamina is that he is still having fun. Find something to do that you love and you will have a happy life. You may work till the day you drop, but at least you'll drop with a smile on your face.
Thanks for joining us tonight on Prairie Fire for another look at all the fascinating people and places in our great state. If you want to learn more information about the stories in tonight's show, visit us online at will.uiuc.edu. I'm Allison Davis Wood. Thanks for watching. I was down in San Pedro when the Savior came to town And living with the remnants of the L.A. underground I was smoking Malaguena, snorting LST Jesus came along and scared the hippie out of me I was living a bad life as a human walking sin I slept with sweaty women, soaked myself in gin My moral constitution had hit a low degree when Jesus came along and scared the hippie out of me. Jesus came along and scared the hippie out of me. And he told me to believe him was sure to set me free. I picked up my Bible and I turned off my TV. When Jesus came along and scared the hippie out of me.